Okay, uh, now we will move to a new uh, converter. Uh, let's uh, try to obtain the operating characteristics of uh, this inverter. So the circuit is uh, like that and actually if you look at that one again it is very similar to back and boost converters. I mean in terms of the uh, number of components we have a switch, we have a diode, an inductor and a capacitor as well. I mean it looks like uh, it looks like the boost converter in a way that if you look that I mean, if you turn on that switch again our you know capacitor uh, sorry our inductor uh, will be charged with the VD okay and then one, once it is you know, opened once you um, cut that current okay so so that uh, switch and that current has to go somewhere and there is no path here so it will try to flow like that so in a way it looks like the boost converter where first you charge the inductor and then you send that inductor current uh, to charge the capacitor but the orientations are you know quite uh, strange i mean first of all if you look closely and we will talk about that one the output voltage is not defined as the usual way like minus and positive like that but instead the output voltage is defined like that and we will uh, talk about that one and again the orientation of the orientation of the diode is not like directly as in the uh, as in the boost converter but it is again in the upper branch but actually the orientation is uh, reverse like in that one so the current cannot flow in this direction all right so the name of uh, the name of that converter uh, which we will uh, try to uh, get its characteristics form is called the uh, you know back boost converter and we will show it has the capability of both stepping down the voltage both reducing the voltage or you know boost or uh, step up the voltage so you can increase it uh, you can use it to generate output voltage both smaller and larger than uh, VD so it is like a combination of uh, back and boost converters and again you know there's a simulation here I strongly advise you to you know to, uh, open up uh, that simulation and you know try a few different parameters and see the effects of uh, these parameters so let's have a look at the operating mode so there is again two main modes the first one is the switch is on so here you can you know close the switch and in that mode you are uh, charging your inductor so it in that way whenever the switch is on it is really uh, similar to the boost converter so in that instant you are charging charging the inductor and at the same instant remember there is that uh, uh, diode is here but that is off we will show it will be reverse uh, conduction mode uh, reverse blocking mode and in that range whenever the switch is on our C okay capacitor just by itself capacitor is uh, supplying the load so that is the condition and that's the operating mode when the switch is on okay then then you turn on turn off that switch we had the switch here so we cut off that current so whenever you know the switch is off so now our you know uh, input input source is disconnected now we had you know during uh, on period we charged the inductor we increased its uh, current now it has the maximum current but now it has nowhere to go it cannot go that way because here it is open circuited so all the current has to flow uh, through here and now you know in order to have proper operation we will show that those things mathematically as well you know that inductor current is larger than IO now it is charging you know our capacitor so during that cycle I mean, maybe not all of the off cycle we will we will see that but C is charged at least initially 
so now you you are storing enough charge in the capacitor to supply the load in the next uh, cycle okay so the idea idea is same so let's uh, go back to here so you are turning on the switch you are charging the inductor then you are closing off uh, the switch then the inductor current is uh, supplying the load and capacitor and the next cycle whenever that one is off your capacitor is supplying the load okay so that is the idea so let's try to you know get its uh, voltage input output voltage uh, relationship so first uh, for that uh, let's try to calculate uh, both of those ones so first we will have the on state or let me draw it like that so we will have let's we will use the same trick here let's try to uh, draw the inductor current or let me first one let's say inductor voltage and also the inductor current okay so first we will have the on state so let's go back and have a look at the on state so during on state okay i'm trying to draw the inductor voltage and current because that is how in, in the steady state i can use the you know voltage seconds rule of the inductor and get the output voltage uh, characteristics so here in the on mode i have the vl is equal to uh, vd i mean here it is shown by vs but let's be consistent with mohan and we have the vd here okay so vl is equal to vd so i'm applying a constant uh, voltage during that time so if you look at here and let's say it is somewhere here okay so for how long for t on period i have v okay and again i'm assuming uh, continuous conduction mode and since i am applying a, a constant voltage so my inductance will uh, inductance current will charge up linearly so during on state i have vd sorry let me write vl is equal to vd and il increases linearly so of course you can uh, calculate the uh, slope of that curve okay now let's look at the uh, let's look at the off mode okay in the off mode so i have again let's go back to here i have vl is defined like that and vo is defined like the reverse polarity so i have vo here and i have let me show that one i still have the vl like that right okay and if you look at that uh, instance so that is you know disconnected our uh, inductance voltage is reverse of our output voltage so i can write vl is equal to minus vo okay so let's write that one here as well so in the off state so my vl is equal to uh, minus vo and il you know again i'm applying a negative voltage uh, it is discharges linearly so let me uh, try to draw it here something like that and it will repeat itself okay so here that is minus vo and again you can assume since it is at steady state it will finish at the same current we started and it will uh, discharge us linearly and for uh, for t of right so again you know you can uh, say you know that area and that area uh, needs to be equal so i can i can calculate the 
voltage uh, characteristics. So let's have uh, more area. So first, let's write uh, that thing, and this is equal to remember d times t s, and this thing is equal to one minus d times t s. So let's write uh, that area. It is v d times d t s. Okay. Then you need to be again careful if you are, you know making these two areas equal to each other you need to get the actual area you know so you need to take the not minus vo but vo but you can just take the integral okay from that instant to that instant the actual terms and it will be equal to zero so let's use the negative terms so plus uh, minus vo times one minus d ts will be equal to zero so you, know, you can just get rid of the ts and vd times d okay minus vo and plus vo times d is equal to zero or actually you don't have to write it in the explicit form so you have just uh, the vd and vo directly so you can write that equation let me put it here vo plus vd is equal d divided by 1 minus d okay so here you know we derived that equation so the value of output voltage you know the input voltage is d divided by 1 minus d so let's uh, try to you know guess how that uh, equation works so if you just put uh, 0 when you put d is equal to 0 output voltage will be zero right so once it is if d is equal to 0 0.5 then 0 0.5 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 that is one so when duty cycle is uh, 0 0.5 your output voltage will be equal to vd so you started with zero voltage and you reach to vd at 0 0.1 and again you know it's not uh, technically possible but if you put d is equal to one okay so 1 divided 0 it goes to infinity or let's say you put uh, 0 0.9 0 0.9 divided by 1 minus 0 0.9 so that makes 9 so at 0 0.9 duty cycle you can have 9 times of your input voltage so you know if the duty cycle is less than 0 0.5 that uh, converter works as a step down converter like a buck converter if it is larger than uh, 0 0.5 so it behaves like a boost uh, converter so again you know the reverse polarity is is one problem okay if i have uh, let's try to you know uh, to draw the current and let's say if this is due to cycle and this is vo divided by vd i mean whenever it is 0 0.5 okay that thing is equal to uh, 1 so that is equal so whenever it is here it goes like that and whenever it is 1 okay so it has a curve like that so in this range okay let me have so in this range it is like a buck converter and in this range it is like a converter okay okay and if you are uh, ag again i think you are nowadays using uh, dealing with your hardware project i mean if you are interested in some uh, practical applications practical controllers i also strongly advise you to click on that link it is from uh, ti's website and actually you can uh, compare uh, different devices there are some uh, devices you know bug boost controllers bug controllers book boost controls and there are uh, some ic controllers that have you know the switches you know diodes and switches embedded into the chip or there are some uh, controllers which you need to install discrete uh, semiconductor devices you know inductors and capacitors depending on the power rating so i you know strongly advise you to go through that link and try to you know read the data sheets and compare a couple of uh, different uh, controllers okay thank you